Hey everyone, welcome back to The Witcher 2. Last time, we finished off the game, but today we're gonna go back a little bit to the end of chapter 1 and see what the path with Yorveth's gonna be like. So as a really quick reminder, this is when we first met Letho and we were fighting him and then he kind of ran away and we found out that Triss was kidnapped. And now we're deciding, who are we going to for help? Vernon Roach or Yorveth from the Skoya Tell? And obviously, today we're gonna try to go with Yorvev. Although, I feel like it's kind of hard for me to think of why you would choose Yorvev. Because up until now, we really haven't had too much interaction with him, and it just seems like Roach would be overall the more logical choice. But uh, if there's any reasoning that you think is really strong, please feel free to let me know, because I can't think of any right now. Oh, and in terms of importing saves to The Witcher 3 and beyond and whatnot, I'm probably, not probably, I'm going to be importing the initial one that I did because that's my, that's my actual decisions. Here, we're pretty much just going to be looking at stuff. So I also installed the weightlessness mod so that we don't have to go back and forth in the storage and the inn and whatnot. Basically, this path, I'm really just focused on seeing things. And Yorveth is right here. Yorveth awaits you. Duan. Zoltan. Be sure to speak to Yorveth, Geralt. Where is he? He forced Triss to teleport them both to Edern. Lefo. No! The Skoyatel in Edern will pay for my stupidity with their lives. Elias, ready the unit to march. You'll leave immediately. And of course, this is right after we found out that Letho betrayed the Skoyatel. There was a massacre in Flotsam. The streets run red with your brethren's blood. I know, that's why I need your help. You want me to murder humans at your side? I wish death upon every one of those Dwan, but that's not the point. Upper Edern is our goal. Why Upper Edern? The Pontar Valley is a juicy piece of meat beset by hounds. The Skoyatel bite hardest. It's our land. Our forefathers' land. I'm no bandit, Gwynblade. I lead a great army. It sounds like you want to establish an elven state. There is already an elven state. Dolblathana. Francesca Finderbear rules there. Rules? She merely carries out Nilfgaardian orders. We want a truly free state, where an elf could visit a human inn. A land where humans could enter the forest without fear. Ooh, you actually want to let the humans enter. That's a little surprising. And uh, yeah, Francesca Finderbear. Like, of all the people in the books, she's the, like, the one singular person who sided with Nilfgaard. Not particularly because she likes Nilfgaard, I don't think, but she was looking out for her people, and decided that that was the best choice, teaming up with them. And you plan to be king? King Yorveth I? I've already told you. I know the head the crown would fit. We merely have to place it there. Saskia? Whose head is it? One who believes in integrity, honesty, and honor. A person who won't sell out to Nilfgaard for a few florins. A woman named Saskia. Is she your fiancé? What? Don't mock me, Gwynblade. It sounds like she's more important to you, not just a woman whose head would fit the crown. You'll understand once you meet her. Soon the whole world will hear of the Virgin of Edern, a woman blessed with extraordinary courage. Has she proven her courage, or is that just talk? She defeated a dragon. Right, Saskia the Dragon Slayer, who last time just said to me, Hey Geralt, you want the sword? Here you go. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to meeting her. You said you're going to Vergen. True. Why go to a dwarven town? Henselt and his army have pitched camp on the right riverbank. The Virgin and a sorceress gather reinforcements to defend Edern. Philippa. Which sorceress? Philippa Eilhard. What's a Redanian sorceress doing in Edern? Only she can reveal that. Stirring up shit. What does the leader of an army expect of me? That you accompany me to Edern. Perhaps you'll find your sorceress there. You'll certainly find someone who will soon change the balance of power in the north. That's two days travel on foot. You'll never make it in time. I have a plan. What plan? First, you must agree to help us. 
You gotta tell me the plan first. I need to know more before I decide. No, Vatgern. You helped me with Letho. That's the sole reason we're speaking. We may both be pursuing the same son of a bitch, but I haven't forgotten the company you arrived in. Make your choice now. I'll let you go if you refuse. I couldn't do that later. All right. Count me in. We'll get Letho together. Excellent. We've no time to lose. We need to capture the prison barge. You want to enter a town where they're massacring elves? I take back what I said. You're not grandiose. You're mad. My mother claimed likewise. Go to the meeting with the Skoya Tell, the floating prison. Wait, at this point, have we talked to that person who was stuck in the ship already, or... Yeah, I think we have, right? We have. We are... Oh, why did we not walk together? That's like two steps away. <laughs> Instead, he left me out here. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I really can't think of too many reasons why you would choose Yorveth over Vernon. Because, it, is it like the Skoyatel has a bigger army that we can find Triss faster with, or... I just don't feel like we've built up that kind of relationship where I would ask him for help. And I would help him with his cause. Oh my god. Wait, are those... Damn it. Oh, those are Neckers! Lord. Come on, these elves aren't even, like, fighting. Oh, since we're back here now, my skills are, like, worse than before. <laughs> Gotta take some time to get used to it. And I only have two vigor points. Okay. Hold up. You guys aren't even special. Where are the rest of you guys? Go tell meeting. Somewhere here? The map blanked out. Here we go. I'm here. At last. The trading post is in turmoil. You sure this is a good idea? We'll not enter the town. We'll divide the unit. Take my best scout and attack from the harbor. I'll sail down river with the others. Most of the guards should be at the trading post. So we're benefiting from the massacre? Not the way I'd put it, but yes. Right. He's trying to rescue the Skoyatel who were imprisoned. I'd resort to a trick. What does that mean? Let's go then. We shall separate on the cliffs. Skoyatel, Evelyan! Vryad! Vryad! Follow me! It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Climb the cliffs. Okay. It's a massacre right now, so do we even need any sort of strategizing? At this point, uh, what's that guy's name again? The, the guy who runs Flotsam. He's still alive. Yeah. So I guess there's some semblance of order here, but not, not for too long, I would imagine. Oh, the cliff. Oh, that's right. We've been here. We've been here. Oh. Guards. Oh, the guards are getting me, too. Oh, okay. This is okay. This is okay. My elven friends aren't gonna help me. We're killing Temerian soldiers now, though. Damn it! I, not that we really care about them, but it's kind of ah. Okay, who's shooting? Who's shooting. And hey, we never figured out how to redirect an arrow. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Arbalist. This guy. No? Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the cliff, and then there's a there's a way that we can go down. Right. Uh. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that there's still people out here, though. Guards, because the town is pretty chaotic, and yet they're standing outside. But no matter how chaotic the inside is, they still gotta have someone protecting the outside. I guess. Lads to me! Okay. And down here. Right here. We part here. Enved will lead you down to the port. Roach. Where are they sailing to? I don't know. Oh. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon. Let's begin. Roach. They've left. Does that mean that they've killed... What is that guy's name? I can't remember it right now. That guy's name. Bernard Lorito. That's right. Lorito. When we were with Roach, we killed him, and then we sailed away. And I guess he's sailing away now. Which means there really shouldn't be that much resistance here. Up here? Not down here? Okay. I see some soldiers down there. What's with all the soldiers? Did someone tip them off? We need to warn Yorveth. Skrata! Or not. <laughs> Onward! I have no idea what our plan was. It just seems like we were running head on, straight into them. <laughs> Which is okay, that's, that's fine. That's what we do best anyway. It's not like we're really good at strategizing. Geralt, strategy? Okay, humans. Humans, steel sword. Oh god, that's a lot of people. You fight like a woman! At least I'm not dead. Did we ever get the one where we can attack multiple people with a sword yet? I think so. Oh. Hey, why are the squids all just ignoring this guy? Let's go, people. Ooh, the town! Oh my gosh! Oh! I assume they're attacking us, but they're kind of slow on the uptake here. So whether we side with Roach or Yorveth, we end up killing guards anyway, because these are not actually just Tamarian guards, they're Lorito's people. And Lorito was not exactly a good guy. Come on! Who was Lorito being bribed by again? Because he's officially Tamarian, but I think he was taking bribes, or at least he was on the side of some non-Tamarian countries, kingdoms. Oh gosh. I feared you wouldn't make it, Witcher! I'm right here. That's a lot of guards. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of guards. Come on! Oh the elf! Took my Igni. Oh, it's an elf. Get rid of all of these guys. Anyone up there? Nope. Oh, come on, you guys.
I knew you partner with those hate mongers, mutant. Think yourself a hero, oh, do you? Oh, they didn't. Sail away, and I'll burn these sluts alive. We sail. Our women are prepared to die. But I'm not prepared to let murder happen. I'm going ashore. One. Seriously? I thought Lorita would be dead here already, no. but clearly, no. Oh, things are changing up already. Whoa, but Yorveth is sailing away. Save the elven women or pursue Lorito. Mmm, that could be a... Uh, just listen to that screaming in the background. It might be better for us to save the elven women. <laughs> At the Flotsam Harbor, there stood a tower once used by toll collectors. This was where Lorito locked up captive elven women. And when the wharf was attacked by the squirrels, the commander had the building set ablaze. It was an act of desperation, for the situation was already out of his control. Lorito knew that Geralt and the Scoia'tael would try to help those imprisoned in the fire, thus giving him the chance to flee. The Witcher faced a dilemma. To save the elven women from the fire, or to pursue the criminal. Well, we kind of saw what killing him would be like, so let's see what killing, not killing him would be like. And oh my god, I can't stand the screaming. Save the elven women! Commandant Lorido's gone mad. Burning them alive. Plow it! Oh. The witcher's in the right! You guys are killing me? What the heck? This is the tower with the women. Right? Yes, we've been here before! And we never found a use for this building until now. Please, leave me alone. I don't want to kill you. You're just a citizen. Am I looking at the right place, though? Because it sounds like the sound is not... Like, it sounds like it's not coming from here, but oh my god. Whoa! Why are you guys just sitting in the fire? Where's Lorito? He's escaped. Gwynblade! Lorito's calling for reinforcements! We must sail! The tower's on fire. We have to jump. Unbind us! Okay, you guys are being bound. Apparently, I just saw your hands... <laughs> you guys aren't being bound! Your hands are completely free! Come on, guys. Let's get up. So for whatever reason, Roach did not decide to hatch a plan to kill Lorito this time. Lorito escaped. He'll not live long. If the local folk don't hunt him down, someone else will. It's meaningless. You rescued our women. We are indebted. Help me find the Kingslayer and Triss. We'll be even. In that case, Tavergan. Prepare to set sail! Didn't we see him leave? Did Vernon Roach sail out of here all right? He's fine, if that's what you ask. We met and chatted. Imagine that. I wanted him to know that he was only leaving because I let him do so. Ah, was that part when we... Yeah, that one part when we were playing as Roach, aka right now. Do I have to block here? Oh, but I should be playing as Yorveth now. Oh! Uh, yeah, right, I can't roll here. And what the heck is the the button for block? Yes, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Roach only has like one HP left. Is it possible for me to be defeated by him? That would be something, huh? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Oh, he actually does have health. What the heck? It just didn't show properly earlier.
the Temerian Special Forces, created by Foltes to combat the Scoyatal after the first war with Nilfgaard. Veterans, professionals, the best of the best. This is the end, Roach. See these emblems? Temerian lilies, that's all I lacked. I've defeated the commanders of all the special forces in the north. Now I shall unite the Scoyatel. Finish what you started. I shan't kill you, Roach. We Enshe never kill the last specimens of dying breeds. Live on and remember who defeated you. Remember he can do so again. Va fail, Vernon Roach. You're making a mistake, Jorveth. I will find you. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see Unfurl what would happen if we let Yorveth lose. But he was just saying about how, oh, I let Roach go. So I felt like I couldn't really let him lose in that situation. We made it. This is just the beginning. But you chose the right side and I'm pleased. Wish I could be so sure. Oh, the freaking tattoo. Forgot all about that. <laughs> We'll keep it this time. We don't even know any sorceresses who can help us get rid of it. <laughs> Maybe Philippa. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fultus's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoyatel. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help... helpful. That's not nice. Highly useful, then. Why is helpful not nice? Vergen! But we are still plagued by the whole mist problem. Oh, right, the, the very beginning here, we see Saskia talking to... Pencilt? 3,000 men. Burned to ashes in minutes. I remember the stillness when the news reached of Engerberg. The palace, the streets, the houses. The entire capital cloaked in silence. The cries were here, every last man. I was somewhere beyond that hill, in the middle of the massacre. What is your intention, Saskia? I intend to stop Eden from being sold. But we cannot afford a war with Henselt. Don't we must parley. No Leave issues of war to me, Prince. Concentrate on King Henselt. Yarpin Zigrin claims he's short-tempered. Provoke him to strike, and we'll negotiate once the battle's won. I still cannot fathom why the nobles betrayed us. Spit on the nobles, Prince. They've meant nothing since the day my peasant force scattered them on the Diffney. By the good deity Creeve, my lord. The girl is a demon incarnate. Firstly, the girl has a name. She does. Secondly, she's the best commander I have. All others have betrayed me. But she's a monster. Creeve spoke to me in a dream. I saw a snake-like she-demon devour your heritage. Silence, Olcan. We near the meeting place. Right, so uh, last time we played as Henselt coming to the meeting, and now we're playing the other side, Edern's side. Stennis is Demaven's son. And it's good to see that he's with Saskia. They're on the same side, especially because they have an invader now, Henselt. They were coming here to negotiate what again? Giving up Edern? We shall sign everything, your majesty. As you. We have guests. Welcome, Stennis, son of Demavend. I... Sorry. <laughs> Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edern. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Ferret did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? 
Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Fellet to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. <coughs> Don't you dare, boy. You're no king. Your father. My father is dead. The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Ferret, now Stennis is here. Bye. People don't trust me, but we have Saskia. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I have over 200 armed men encamped nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. Another 5,000 battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? In attacking Edirne, you would break the provisions of the Peace of Sintra. All the northern kingdoms will be obliged to support me. None will stand with you. Radovid of Redania, the Dukes of the South, you dream, boy. They're not to be counted on. And the treaty? I piss on it as do they. You are alone. Not entirely. I'll stay out of this, Saskia. Well, well, she has a voice. Saskia the Dragon Slayer. You're much prettier than they claim. You'll need to throw in the last two. Peasants should work the fields, not rebel and burn down the estates of their masters. It's to your advantage to give her up. Shut up! I'll not allow it. This land is under my protection. If no one else has the courage to stand up to you, I will. Listen well, King. You have one hour to quit Upper Eden with your forces. If you fail to do so, it's war. If but one Kudweni soldier remains on this land one minute past the deadline, it's war. You will instruct your heralds to proclaim around and about that you apologize to the people of Eden for this shameful incursion. Otherwise, it's war. <laughs> You've got balls, woman. My soldiers would call me a coward or a madman. I am Hensilt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even a dragon slayer. That apart, you're a pretty fetching lass. I want this land, I want its gold, and I want you, Dragon Slayer. Grab them! Wow! Yes, so much for negotiation. This guy just wants something, and he wants it right now. Stennis, even though he's the son of Demavend, it doesn't seem like he has, like, all the respect of everybody around here. Namely, that one guy earlier. Namely, I can't remember his name. The guy that started with an F. The guy who we apparently beheaded. He doesn't trust me. No, because I'm too young probably. But it's really good that we have the support of Saskia here because the people trust her. And I assume if everything goes well, maybe the plan would be me marrying Saskia. That would really strengthen my claim. Wouldn't it be great if we just killed Henselt here? Stop! Stop in the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militele! Whose priest is that anyway? An Adernian priest? She's just randomly hitting that guy for no reason. Blood curse is activated. Hensolt escaped because of death mold. He had the whole protection thing. But how did Saskia and Stennis escape? By the milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia, and the best company to boot, Yarpin Zigrin. Hello, what about Zoltan? 
It's been years, you old prick. It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost. Muster up a hug for an old friend. Sorry, I've amnesia. Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning you truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me. Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we're bigger problems now. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather <laughs> Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. And right about now, the curse is being activated. The sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Philippa! We haven't said a single word to Philippa. Ever. Come, Geralt. Oh, I really think Stennis should be really, really... Wow! Should be really happy that he's got Saskia on his side. Very strong moral support. Okay, well, we don't have a... Oh, we don't have a sorceress to cast a shield here, though. Are we gonna be okay? Saskia! Get Saskia! She must not die! Damn you, ugly. Saskia's fine, okay? She's like a dragon slayer. She can take on all of these people by herself. It's like Vess. You don't want to baby her just because she's a woman or whatever. She can do it. Huh, so it's okay. It's okay for us to be here. The mist is not really affecting us. Yet? Protect Saskia from the wraiths. The dwarves are helping. I can't really get to them. I can't really get to the guy because everyone's all around here. Oh, jeez. This is like the thing that we saw in the reenactment of the battlefield by the end of chapter 2. What? Sometimes I just can't. It won't let me use my signs. Here we go. Behind. Behind. Come on. Oh, we're burning. Philippa. Philippa in the novels can change into a... Was it a... some type of bird? Owl? An owl! Philippa, she'll show us the way. Yorvith, you've got some explaining to do. By Elrond's blood. Wraiths! Silver harms them. I'll cover you. Margis, help me! Shut up, Dwan. Okay, Owl, you gotta go a little bit faster. Everyone's waiting for you here. Am I allowed to walk out? Uh, yeah, there's no like... Oh, there is a shield. There is a shield. All we gotta do is stay in the shield. That's pretty much it. I don't think we even have to try to get the guys outside the shield. Yeah, just stick around here. 
Uh, so why is Philippa here again? The Redanian Sorceress? Up to no good, probably. We know from the other paths in the novels that she's one of the, the primary members of the Lodge. And that's never a good thing. Ooh. Actually, speaking of the Lodge, I just got to a point in the novel, the end of Tower of Swallows, where Triss is very, very loyal to the Lodge. So I guess she continues being really loyal throughout the next book, and then in the game here, she starts distancing herself from them, and that's that's how the flow of things is supposed to be. I'm guessing. Oh! Okay. But yeah, back in the novels, she's still very much loyal to them, completely. Which makes me grow even more suspicious of her. Even in the game. She should be glad she got that voice actor change. <laughs> We have nobody here besides me, Yorveth, Stennis, and Saskia. Hey, where are you guys going? Stay in the circle! Keep going. I don't want to go out. Die. Hurry up, Philippa. Go! Is she not going because these guys are on us? Probably. But I don't want to walk out of the circle either, because that's how I lose health. Oh my god. Oh! Another one? See, I can't cast a sign right now for some reason. Maybe it's just not responsive enough? I have no clue. Oh, we got a lot of warriors here. Yorveth, Saskia. That's one. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Owl. Yeah. Oh, maybe this way takes a little bit longer because, in comparison to Hensold, they were just trying to get to the Kedwini camp. But for us, it might be a little bit of a distance away because we're trying to go to Bergen. Hurry. We don't have the Swallow Potion. Gotta be a little bit careful about my health. Just let Philippa take care of all of this. Oh! Oh my gosh! I don't remember it being this long and hard in the Hensold route. Go! Oh. Get the side without a shield. Oh, I'm dying! I am... I'm freaking dead! Can you just die? Whoa, got really lucky here. Level up. Which made my health go back to 100. Okay, people! Let's go. That's gotta be it, right? Virgin? I haven't even had time to loot anything. The fog's thinning. Not far now. You better hurry up. It's right there. Oh, forget about these guys. Ignore. Ignore. Let's go. Final stretch. Yeah?
Mm. I hate flying through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Tamaria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. How did that That's work out? That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. No pressure. Look at her, natural leader. I want to see all commanders in the council chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. Your beard? I'm gonna cut it off. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the Alderman. Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your ass. Thanks. I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters, and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. And so we start off in Bergen. The War Council. Follow scale and then go to the War Council. No. Oh, four talents. We should do that too. Uh, I think we're back on normal again, so we can do our attributes here, which is fine. That's fine. Get a whole bunch of health. Do we want to try exploring some of the other ones just because we can? Distance covered while dodging. This might be good because sometimes I find that dodging is not enough. Bigger regeneration during combat. Damage reduction. Actually not a bad idea at all. Going backwards a little bit here. Damage reduction. Ooh, look at that. 40% bigger regeneration. Where? How do we get more vigor? I want that too. But maybe for next time. Yeah, there you go. No, not this. Wanted to open the journal. Cecil, Scalen, we've met them before. Oh, Cecil's nephew, Scalen. Oh, alright. Triss is missing. Dandelion. This is all pretty much the same. We've read it already. Yes. Dandelion is with us in... Vergen? Yes, I chose to accompany him. For the Witcher, it could be at times be naive as a child and knew as much about politics as a ghoul knows about cooking. Hey, you were the one who was writing propaganda, okay? Kingslayer. Proved true to his word and kidnapped Triss. Yorveth. Mm. Yorveth was loyal towards those who placed their trust in him, and he returned their trust. This was undeniable. His respect for Geralt grew after they freed the prisoners, and the elf would not hesitate to repay the debt he had incurred. Zoltan? Zoltan went with us to Vergen and with enthusiasm worthy of his military past, began training the local militia that would soon see its baptism of fire. Though it appeared they would have a hard time, Zoltan was ready to defend the cause he believed in, fighting at the side of elves and men. Hmm. Lorito, let him get away. This vile individual's duplicity, his fidelity to his purse alone, were apparent to anyone who paused to look at him. His sale of Flotsam, an important trading post, to the kingdom of Kedwin. Yes, Kedwin, was to be his crowning swindle. 
and the provincial ruffian cared little that it would also render him a traitor to his country. Kedwin, that was it. Sheila? Ran away in the thick of battle? It appears Sheila had very specific plans concerning the King Henselt of Kedwin and his attempts to father an heir. From what we've been able to tell, the meddling of Sheila and other sorcerers in the world of politics was further reaching than anyone had imagined. Seret Ox Henselt. Yeah, we've read this. Philippa Eilhart. At the time Philippa Eilhart was staying in the town of Vergen as part of Saskia the Dragon Slayer's inner circle. Her motives remained unclear to say the least. The former court magician had never been known for her altruism. However, one cannot deny that without her help, Geralt would not have found his way through the magical mist. Philippa rendered him an invaluable service at that time. Not for you. Not for you. Her goal is to protect Saskia for whatever reason. Is this the same Vergen that we've had access to before? I think so. The War Council's here. Oh, we're following Scalen. That's fine. No, I don't think we've gotten access to all of this previously. I don't remember this at all. Whoa. That's a naked lady. <laughs> For our freedom and yours. Sorry. I beat you to the, the door. Look, another one. You let one human in and in no time, you've got a swarm. Like ants they are. Do I look I like a human? human? women need only sit astride a man's pants for their bellies to puff up. What? <gasps> okay. One freak bigger than the next. Morning. Morning to you too. Hi. Hello. Fancy taking on a dwarf. Arm wrestling or what? Sure. Ah, this must be the the Virgin Inn. That Witcher. Who's he? He travels the lands, killing monsters for coin. I'm right How here, you know. Those glistening eyes. Sorcerers mutated him when he was young. Uh, the things this world has to be. I forgot that we were using the mouse for a second, so I was pressing on the keyboard, <laughs> needlessly. You're tough as my hackam and steel. The prize money is yours. Thirty-five orans. No. Ten orans. I look at that witcher and see something unusual about him. He's one who can change the fate of kingdoms. Very true. Sets my teeth on edge. Mm. Better not cross me then. I can see that your arm's itching. Okay. Sure. Are these part of the quest, or am I just... Is that drunk guy walking into me? <laughs> Look, another one. You let one human in, and in no time, you've got a swarm. Not a human, like dammit. Ants they are. I heard human women need only sit astride a man's pants for their bellies to puff up. No man can match a dwarf at arm wrestling. Save, maybe a witcher. Take your gold. That's well deserved. Hello. This guy has nothing for me. I think I've heard of you. Mm, can't say the same. Give us a kiss. <laughs> hmm. Business or rest? Rest. And maybe some trading. Ah. Welcome. How can I help you? Dice poker? Okay. I'd like to play dice poker. Fair enough, but I only play the best. If you're any good, you'll beat Bruno Biggs and Cornelius Mayer. Then I'll test you. <laughs> Alright. Win a few rounds at dice poker. Cornelius Biggs... ...and someone... someone Mayer? We'll run into them eventually. That's Galen, we're still Stop supposed to follow him. him and rough him up! Ah! Since when do noblemen fight peasants? Sign of the times. Saskia treats the peasantry as our equals. And once you let a dog inside, 
It'll never sleep in the doghouse again. But that's not for me to judge. The point is, you can make good coin on these fights. Care to give it a go? Any rules to this? Each contender puts down his stake, which rises the more fights he wins. If you want to fight, put down some coin. Up for the next fight, or are you just going to stand there and go? Why not? A worthy contender, please. For starters, you'll fight a novice. Stand and fight, but first, show me your coin. You can have all of it. I'm okay with this. In that case, betting is now open. Bite his balls! What? That's gotta be an illegal move, right? <laughs> Sounds unsanitary as hell, too. Stop stroking him and rough him up! Next. Bite his ball! That was a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful fight. Congratulations on your win. You're moving up the ranks, sir, just like your winnings. Ready for another fight? Yes. A worthy contender, please. The better the opponent, the better the fight. The better the fight, the higher the stakes. The higher the stakes, the bigger the winnings. All right. In that case, betting is now open. Just give me the best guy you got. Don't be afraid of him. We can start off there. Don't need to go through all of this. Finally, an end to the flailing and someone with a touch of finesse. The pool is yours. You're moving up the ranks, sir, just like your winnings. Ready for another fight? So the fighting in the Kedwini camp actually led to a quest later on, if I believe, if I remember right. Yeah, because that one guy got mad at me, and then Zivik came and broke us up. A worthy that guy? contender, please. Excellent. I wonder if this, this fighting here will lead to anything. This is the strongest lad I know. He's knackered many a plow horse. The fortune he's made in his fist fighting career makes many a nobleman green with envy. Place your bets. Hurry before it's too late. Worthy opponent. In that case, betting is now open. Bite his balls! I wish you would let me just bet like a thousand orans. Ooh, he's got some moves. Stop stroking him and rough him up! But in the end, he's no match. There's gotta be some rules against witchers fighting humans. Slug him between the eyes! That was a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful fight. Congratulations on your win. A wonderful show of strength, precision, and agility. Seems there's no one left to challenge the new champion. You couldn't be more wrong. Sir Silgrat? It is I. Funny seeing Noble. you here. You've always claimed such fights were a primitive diversion for commoners. A true knight duels another in the exquisite company of ladies and real gentlemen. Oh, I... I'll never forget the great achievements of Selkirk in the Tawnees. On many occasions did my brother prove his greatness. Brother! Alas, the world's going to the dogs. Today a knight must challenge commoners to prove his bravery. But there's a witcher among you. And though his blood is no match for mine, his warring mastery is satisfactory. Perhaps when he drops to the ground at my feet, you'll realize I'm not merely Selkirk's brother. I'll be known as Silgrat. Every witcher's worst nightmare. I challenge you, witcher. The wager is two sacks of gold. Believe me, Silgrat doesn't challenge any old serf. Okay. Okay. You want to prove you're your brother's equal? Show me what you're made of. Stand and fight. Bite his balls! Your brother was a pretty legendary guy here. You want to beat him? You don't even look like you're dressed for the part. I know you're supposed to be like a noble or something, but you Stop look like him and you belong him in a circus. Don't be afraid of him! You won. Finish me off. 
I'm no murderer. Besides, it was only a fist fight. I'd rather have died at your hands. It was an honest fight, just like you wanted. You failed to understand. My reputation is ruined, my honor gone. I thrashed you and won a pile of coin. Not sure I care about your reputation. We'll meet again. Silgrat forgets no insult. Congratulations to the victors and thanks to the vanquished. You proved your mastery, Witcher. Fighting you is an honor. Let's tend to the pool. Stop that guy's taking life way too seriously. I came here for a coin. You want to die because of me? Really? But it seems like he's gonna come up later on. Maybe when we go to... Loch Muin? I'm sorry. Uh, what are the... Oh, wait for events to unfold. Yeah, score to settle. Hold on, that's not the quest I wanna... I wanna be doing right now. I wanna go to the War Council. Unless if we can find the poker people here. We could just finish that up if it's here. Where would that be? Five people?! No, it doesn't seem like it's in here. Just looking at the map? Don't be afraid of him! Yeah, maybe they're elsewhere. Which is fine, but where did that guy go? The guy that we were following. <laughs> right here? What? Slug it between the eyes! Uh... You fighting on? No. I've got more pressing bit. Don't be afraid of him! I guess maybe he got tired of waiting for us. Maybe he's outside? Doesn't seem like he's around here. Oh, I thought this was outside. Nope. More rooms? Can we steal someone's stuff? There's not even chests in these rooms. But they look pretty neat though. Organized. Way better than like the brothel. Oh, this is my this room. Shall be your chamber, Witcher. They say Selkirk of Gullet himself slept in this bed before battle. And he died. Didn't bring him any luck. <laughs> but at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? Thanks, Skaden. Oh, we get it in right here. That's cool, but everything... Yeah, look at that, weight zero, so we don't have to care about this anymore, for now. Do we have... We didn't even upgrade... Oh, wait! Uh, this is the situation where... Right, I didn't equip my proper sword yet, right? This one's better, a special forces sword. Yeah. This oh, no, this one's better. There we go. That's how it should be. And I guess we can just put the other swords in here so that we don't get confused. Do we want to actually sleep? We can't anyway. That's... that's great. <laughs> okay, well cool. Cool. It's a nicer place to stay at than the camp. The camp was full of stinky, sweaty men. <laughs> Slug it between the eyes! Okay. Well, that's it for the inn. If we want to attend the war council, do we go out this way? Back out to the surface? It's somewhere over here, so I assume we'll figure it out once we get over there. Oh, this is town of Vergen. It's a big place. We can just stroll around a little bit too. Mysterious merchant? Oh. Oh yes, that's right. You sell like good armor and stuff. I remember. I remember. You sell good swords. Right. I'm gonna take all of these. And... For the weapons and stuff? I think we were using a poison Zeracanian sword for the longest of times. Do we want to get it right away? Yeah, why not? Why not? This is... Yes. Poison? Runes? Is Grith rune? There you go. Great sword. Yeah, Witcher's superb silver sword. 
I'll have a look and see if we can find something better, as opposed to just buying it for this one. Vergen. Vergen. These are just houses. I think. Oh. There's an upper floor. Oh, wait. This is where we were before, right? And then Roach rolled off the bridge here and was like, Fuck! Yeah, yeah, right here! Ah, we can actually get across this time. Okay. But does it actually go anywhere? Maybe not? Yeah, now I can... I can pick up anything I want. Wonderful. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of confusing here because it's not like a normal town and everything just looks really... Really similar. Whose house is this? Anybody in here? No? Oh, there's a letter. That seems like it could be something, but maybe not right this moment. Okay, well, this house has nothing, as usual. Oh my god, that is a naked lady. Again! We gotta get out of here! 